Joining us today from Adobe Systems is Paul Garrett. Paul is an eSystem specialist on the technical marketing team at Adobe Systems, where he focuses on technical education and escalation for the Adobe Field Sales Team. He has also joined us for several other Lifecycle Designer Tech Talks and is very active in the Adobe User to User Lifecycle Designer Forums. Thanks so much for joining us today, Paul. Thank you, Laurie. Good afternoon, good day, everybody. I'm glad to be here today to uh, to share one of my favorite topics, uh, developing flowable content. Uh, as as most of you know, I, I do recognize a lot of the uh, the names that I've seen on the on the attendee list, um, and I've either answered or helped answer, or hopefully helped with a, a number of problems that have been reported through that particular forum. Um, so today, what we th what I thought I'd do is uh, look through the old posts that were uh, on the forum and kind of take the most common problems that we see uh, in this particular area and, and try and answer those with examples and so on, that, that the common things that people run across. Before we actually get into the, uh, the content and, and start looking at things, I do want to thank, uh, we do have four people manning the question pods today, um, and I want to introduce those people and give them a, a, a kudos for, for taking the time of their day, their day to be able to answer those questions for you. So first we have uh, Marcus Radzuwait. Uh, who I'm sure you've seen his name through the the, uh, the user user forums frequently. Uh, Steve Walker, one of my coworkers here uh, at Adobe, uh, answers uh, quite a few questions on that forum as well. Uh, Niall O'Donovan, uh, who not only is answering the questions today, but who is responsible for all of the uh, the sample forms that you're going to see in the second half of the demonstration. And lastly, uh, Dimitri Munkers, uh, who is uh, I've not seen Dimitri on our forum, but she is certainly uh, uh, very active on the uh, the AUC forms. So thank you very much, uh, you four. Uh, keep, the, keep up the good work. So let's get specific. Uh, let's get down to exactly what we're here for. Um, and I've kind of broken down all of the problems into uh, these eight kind of topics. Uh, certainly we're dealing with just fields on their own, just making the fields themselves dynamic, not so much the, uh, the, the, the tables or anything like that. Simply being able to take a field and making it expand uh, to, to, to hold the content that you want or, or looking at different options that exist there. One of the most common problems that people uh, have with flowed content is dealing with the subforms and this whole concept of position versus flow. So we're going to del delve into detail in that. Some of the other things that uh, people consider uh, when they talk in terms of dynamic content is the presence property or just making something visible or invisible. Uh, so we're going to deal, deal with that presence property. Uh, then, of course, the big topics, uh, when you start getting to things like tables, they want to add rows, delete rows, move things around. Uh, that's what the next two are about. One of the, the areas that you would kind of think are really aren't part of a dynamic uh, conversation would be the master pages in the content area. But, but this is a common problem that I see uh, quite a bit is, is people not using these, uh, these tools effectively. Uh, there's a whole section here on additional features, and last but not least is images. There's an awful lot of content here. And I'll be surprised if I can manage to make it through all of this in the, uh, the short time that we have. But uh, there are certainly uh, a number of sample files at the end that, that do get into great detail uh, and help you get along with all of these if in, if, in fact, we don't get through it all. So without further ado, let's switch over here to my designer. And we'll get started. So uh, as you can see here, I'm in my, my designer. Um, and I have one of my favorite sample forms here. Uh, this, this, this form ships with the product. And I've made a couple of slight enhancements to this, this particular form uh, so we can get some ideas across here. But this is the dynamic interactive sample. It's uh, a very good one to use when to model your particular forms off of once you uh, start building these, these types of uh, programs. So I'm going to preview it here. So when we start talking about dynamic forms or flowing forms and, and this type of thing, um, there's a couple of different ideas here that, uh, that has come to mind. I'm just going to shut down my PowerPoint here because I don't want it to take up all my space here. So there are some, there's some dynamic content within this particular form itself. So the one that, that most people are familiar with is the ability to, to make something visible or invisible. So if I go here in this particular terms and, and terms and conditions here and I say that I have credit, you'll notice that my card number information and so on is presented to me. So in a sense, that is a dynamic uh, means of presenting information. Now in this particular case, the thing to remember here is that the actual content itself takes space. So it isn't visible. If I go back to cache here, so I have a big blank space here to hold that content. So even when I've rendered this form, 
it does take space so that when I do show it, it is visible there. The next type, again, it's the same type of idea here, if I add comments, is being able to make a field grow and shrink depending on the content that's inside of it. So this comments field, okay, I have, I can start entering some text in here, and I'm just going to use the enter key here to give it more lines here so I don't have to keep typing stuff. So you notice that when I'm filling out the form, or filling out the field, I get these, these scroll bars appearing. But I don't want them to appear because I want to see all that content. So when I tab off that field, the field grows to fit the content that's in there. So if I go back into the field, and we'll just add some different characters, you can see now it grows. And uh, of course, the, the information gets pushed and, and, and so on to fit the uh, particular type. So that's another type of, of dynamic uh, interaction that, we, that we're going to talk about here. The next one is if I go up to this table, this is the more common one. And I go...